Hello and welcome, beautiful people. I am Lady Calamir. I welcome you to my channel. I am doing my 114th video, and it will be on the Incan goddess Pachamama. Pachamama. Who is she? She is the Earth Mother, the Mother Earth, the goddess of nature. The Incan people, which did not speak the Incan language, it was Quechua, and they were the Quechuan people, which became the Incan Empire. One of the more powerful deities that they worship was Pachamama. Pachamama was to be loved and is still loved, respected, and yet sometimes even feared. Because when they say when she was not given offerings or her just due, or when she was disrespected, forgotten, or taken advantage of, or when people took too much and gave little back, bad things would happen. It would be drought, there would be floods, there would be torrential rain pour, and even to the point of lightning strikes. And if you ask the Quechuan people now, they would say how they feel that Pachamama is upset for the way she is disrespected, for the way she is, the earth is raped. But this is not about politics. We're gonna be talking about the goddess Pachamama Pachamama is seen as more like a woman like this, but the el more of a mature or even elderly figure with long, beautiful black hair with seen braids coming down to her front from her hair, like Indian braids. She is seen with a large head compared to her body and large thighs, larger legs compared to her body. She is said to carry like a, a basket or, or like a cornucopia, like full filled with uh, vegetation. Sometimes even some people will say she will even carry a child. When Christianity, when the uh, Spanish conquest and invasion took over, of course, they were forcibly converting people. Pachamama's role was taken over as the Virgin Mary. So that is something interesting. Now, or the Quechuan still worshiping their deities. They do. They worship this. They see. They. There are people that still do. And there are Christians that do these things out of culture. Which to this day is pissing off the Catholic Church. Oh, boo hoo. So. Pachamama is still worshipped. If you ever seen the series by oh come on Morgan Freeman called The Story of God he uh, did an episode with Pachamama with the Inca and about how you know, at one time there were blood sacrifices to her and now what they do is 
to appease the mother, what they would do is do these mock fights where they would fight each other, like kind of like to draw blood so that the blood will go onto the earth. No one dies, but they offer like themselves as a sacrifice. So that is interesting. But there are still uh, worshipping. Her feast day starts in August 1st. Now, in the Northern Hemisphere, it would be summer. But where they are in Peru is the Southern Hemisphere. And that is winter. So August 1st is the beginning. And the whole month of August is a feast day. Also, her day... Her sacred day is Friday. But also in modern times, we can also attribute Earth Day to the goddess Pachamama. And that would be more of a modern worship for her and for us people who are not Quechuan. Now, Pachamama, she is, okay, so you got Pachatata, you have many days, but Pachatata is, or, is like Father Time, where Pachamama is the Mother Earth, she is time manifested, so she's like the manifestation, the manifested like of Pachatata, and when you think about it, we are all part of Pachamama. Everything that you see is Pachamama. The trees, the grass, my annoying cat, Loki, you, me, are all part of Pachamama. Pachamama is like time manifested. She is the one who we call home and that feeds us. But we must remember to respect her and to give back. Can you stop it, Loki? You are gonna get hurt. Hang on. All the time, it never fails. Get down. You know you're doing wrong. So Pachamama, it's like her blood would be the waters and her mountains the breast. She is our earth mother. Her sacred uh, food is definitely cocoa leaves. Cocoa leaves are specifically sacred to her. But if failing to get cocoa leaves, you can give her chocolate, hot cocoa. You know, it's not easy for where I'm at to just get cocoa leaves. I could probably order it, but yeah. So anyways, her children is Mama Kila, who I know more about, and I work more with Mama Kila. I know it's it, it's Q U I L L A, but it's not the Spanish tongue. It's the Quechuan, Quechua tongue. So in Quechua, the it's Q U I L L A, spells sounded as Mamakila. And her other child is Inti. 
Now also, depending on the area, Inti is not only her son, but her husband. So, Mamakila is the power of the moon, and Inti is the sun. So, when you look at what the Quechuan believe, the, war, the sun is living, the moon is living, the earth is living. It's not some inanimate object. The lakes, the streams, the waters are living, the raindrops. It's like animism, I guess you can say. The rocks are living, all because they can't speak that normally you can't hear. Like the way you hear me talk to you. You can still listen to them and feel the energy and they are to be respected. And that's why they say that because earth is not being respected, that it's like the sun has gotten hotter. Like as if it's like, you know what? I'm going to fry you guys if you don't start respecting earth. Want to know what it's like to be an air fryer? Just watch. So that offerings are made to the sun and the moon the sky the earth it's alive we are part of the earth we are part of the ecosystem we have the power to destroy ourselves earth will still go on but we need to not contaminate it because we are destroying the ecosystem. So the Quechuan are making an effort to help, you know, clean up their area to do their part with the earth. So, pa Pachamama is, well, her sacred sites and stuff, I'll talk about that. I want, I, I'm already talking about 13 minutes. Oh, by the way, it's Shadow's birthday. He's 18 years old. So, I'll have to remember to sing his birthday song to him after, after this. So, Pachamama, some of the offerings are actually put in sometimes small square packages where things depending on say if, if there has been apparent like devastation or a flood like it wouldn't be uncommon for shamans to actually get a baby alpaca to sacrifice and spill the blood over the package and what's in the package is definitely cocoa leaves usually cocoa leaves powdered incense, it could be, you know, Amazonian flowers, uh, brown sugar, berries, nuts, dried fruit, even a bit of vicuña wool, which is the most priciest expensive wool in Peru. And it comes from like a a, 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 a small llama like animal. So some they, those things are put in and sometimes they could be buried or burnt on at a made by a sacred fire. However, let's just get into some of the offerings. So here are some ideas, okay? The Quechua people will give some of their harvest 
to Ma, Pachamama, along with cocoa leaves, which is very sacred to her. And they give their potatoes, which is also a staple among the Quechua. So they would give what they have taken from the earth. And anything that's natural is given back to the earth. They would even make little dolls and dress them up. So some, some things, miniature woman, woman's clothing, like something for a baby doll or Barbie doll is offered. Vicuña wool, flowers. It's not like I can get Amazonian flowers here, but flowers, brown sugar, sugar cane, red wine, cocoa leaves, as I said, is very sacred to her, but also we can think about cocoa powder, chocolate, nuts, fruits, potatoes, dried fruits, peanuts, legumes you can give something from your garden so if you're growing carrots or beets you can give her that if you harv if you uh if say if you uh or a bee worker you work with bees, you can harvest some of that honey and give to Pachamama. Llamas were sacrificed to her, but some people like to give their blood to her, and that's fine. Just be careful how you get your blood. There's also, you can give her incense there is a thing called uh, i think it's chica chicha chicha and it's a a corn a, a beer made from corn that is given to her she likes Water, of course. So, bread that we bake. Maybe you're a baker. You can bake her some cookies. You can bake her some bread. You can offer her a nice meal that you've cooked. Another thing is, is to donate to organizations that actually help the earth or take time out of your time and pick up some junk and throw it in the garbage or do some recycling or you know help nature even pretty flat pretty uh Feathers were given to her. Also, gold coin, gold was given to her, silver and copper. So, pouring sometimes just after having uh, before you have a drink, you could pour it onto the earth. Pouring it onto your floor doesn't count. Pour it into the earth. Take time out to respect nature, maybe talk to nature, be in nature. You can call her Mama Pacha, Pacha Mama. Her name translates literally as Mother Earth or Mother Cosmos. So let's look at the discards that I put here because I got to give respect. I got to. Be respectful and give credit to the author, to the artist, sorry. 
the universe won this card. I thought this would be perfect for Pachamama. The Compass Guide to the Quest Tarot by Joseph Ernest Martin. Get these. This is a wonderful deck. Very beautiful art. Now we have Pachamama. Healing, Holy. Ho sorry. Healing, Holing, and Holy. This beautiful work of art comes. Let's see this back side. The Goddess Oracle by Amy Sophia Marashinsky and illustrated by Harana Janto. You can find these on Amazon.com or eBay or your New Age store, or Pagan store. If you see these, I really recommend getting these. The readings is good. The, the art is good. To meditate with it is good. I really do recommend them. You can give her a whole bag full of produce. Just make a nice uh, biodegradable bag, please. Not like plastic. You can put it in a bag that will biodegrade or put it on a plate that... Not foam. Not something that would not, you know, go back into the earth. And leave a plate of food and of course you know maybe animals will eat it nature will eat it be careful with leaving out chocolate because chocolate is toxic to most animals so i mean ants can eat chocolate i've seen them carry off candy and stuff but pachamama does have a sweet tooth she does like fruit she does like candy we can give her candy, which is modern. These are some modern offerings. You know, as far as potatoes, any potatoes you like. Purple potatoes, red potatoes, white potatoes, whatever. You know, one could think of even leaving her some potato chips. Maybe a plate of mashed potatoes. So... It's just some offering, just some ideas for offering. So what can Pachamama do for you? She can, she is a goddess of fertility. She deals with the fertile earth. So she can help you with your farm, with your garden, with your plants. She can help animals become fertile, you to become fertile. She helps you to create blessings for your others as well as yourself. And she helps you to really enjoy life, to savor life, to take time and enjoy who you are and know that you are part of the goddess. She helps attract abundance. So whatever abundance that could be, it could be abundance in friends, abundance in money, abundance in food. So. Especially uh, abundance of food. Because she does deal with food. She does deal with sowing, reaping what you sow with the, with the harvesting. She helps you to see divinity in yourself and everything around you. Now, another image as Papa Pachamama can be seen as is that when she's disrespected and she is angry, she is said to turn herself into a huge dragon who lives beneath the mountains. And when she is angry, she causes havoc and she causes earthquakes to show her discontent. So when she occasionally quivers, the earth will shake. So the Quechuan people, the Incan people, like to perform 
sometimes daily prayers or daily rituals to honor her so that they guarantee that they have a good food supply so they don't go without. And to respect the earth and to live one with nature, one with the goddess, one with the spirit of the earth. So, thinking about Pachamama, is that some people who, it is said that the people who were struck by lightning and lived are actually kind of sacred. And in fact, uh, there are two respected shamans. Asan Gates or Sagate's uh, most respected shamans were chosen because by Pachamama herself because she struck them with lightning, yet without harming them. So they, I think you should really look up the story. It's pretty cool if you can find it. I don't know if it's still on the internet or not, but uh, it probably is. I, 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 I don't remember. I think I was re reading it in 2017 or something. So you can find something about that. So, I'm just trying to think what else. Alpalca meat, chicha. That's what I was thinking about, chicha, which I think I said before is a beer made from corn. So, you can make little dollies yourself if you want. You can make little you know, sew little dolls for her or make corn dollies for her and dress it up and give it as an offering to her. Because remember, she is a goddess of food and she is important. She is the goddess of the harvest. She is the earth herself. Sometimes in her hand, she's actually holds a snake that serves as a rope or a lasso. So, place that there are uh, sometimes offerings are left by caves. So if you know where this cave is, you can leave an offering there also like hollowed out trees or like certain rocks that people would leave it there you can leave it by a mountain or if you have a park or a wilderness somewhere maybe you live near a forest or a jungle you can leave something there for her and remember be mindful what you leave for her So, Pachamama is you. She is approachable. So, if you're new to the deity, she is approachable. So you don't have to worry about that. Come on, guys, stop it. They're acting up. Oh, my God. Sorry, my cat is eating out of the sink. That's disgusting. Thank you. 
things. That's gross. Joker, say you're sorry. I'm not sorry for anything. Don't bother Shadow. He's eight, it's his birthday. Leave him alone. It's his birthday month. So... Also sent the, um, what stone altars also dedicated to her in like in the center of fields is also a place and you can make your own to her. You don't have to be scared of her unless you're out there deliberately polluting the earth. So... But Pachamama is seen very, is also very beautiful. Cut it out! Right back. What you doing, boy? Do I have to put you in the room because you don't know how to behave? You're tearing everything apart. What you looking for? You're annoying. Get off the stove. Every day, it never fails. Every time I try to do a presentation, and he's purring. He's purring in my arms because he knows he's doing something fucked up. Yes, you are. Ugh. I'm sorry. I think I'm spending more time chasing these damn cats than talking about Pachamama. So, oh my God, I do not have notes. So please, uh, bear with me. So, when Christianity took over, they saw that the Incan had like a trinity. Okay, so you have Viracocha who was, who had this, uh, actually his full name. Viracocha means uh, the foam of the sea or sea foam. Lake Titicaca is a very sacred place. It's a huge lake that can actually be seen from space that huge so viracocha means uh the, the foam of the sea or the sea foam and when they saw viracocha and he has a he has a, a huge name i'm just trying to think of Okay, I, I know part of the name is Con Tiki Viracocha. Sorry, I should have wrote, wrote this whole thing down, <laughs> the names, but uh, yeah, I don't, I usually don't do that. So Con T -T Tiki Viracocha has, he has two, he has two sons. And when they, when the Christians saw that, they said, oh, look, it's a trinity. Let's, let's get them to, uh. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So you had one that was Tokapu Viracocha and Ime Mana Viracocha who helped create everything. People, I would say. And so when the Christians came over, of course, they made them Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They took... Uh, Pachamama made her uh, the Virgin Mary. You know, and also uh, how K 
Quechua, the language the Quechua was spread is that when the Christian church took over, the Catholic church, they learned the language so that they can proselytize and convert the natives. So actually the language spread throughout parts of South America because of the Catholic church. And then wanting to have everyone join our cult. And by force and through fear and persistent nagging. So, and every August 1st, before the sewing season, Mama Pacha has a special day to her. And the rights may vary depending on the area like Peru or Bol Bolivia, Argentina. The rights are going to vary. Baby, what you doing? What you doing, Joker? You're being silly. So, what else can I talk about Pachamama? I'm trying to, to think of the right that it's called. It's called Payment to the Land when they give uh, offerings. And to this day, this is really pissing off the Catholic Church. They don't want this. They say it's the devil, that Pachamama is a demon. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Maybe they're the demon. Not Pachamama. So, I know that people were offering, sometimes you can offer different alcoholic beverages to her. So it doesn't just have to be corn beer. Because where are we going to get corn beer from? You know, like if you're in the United States. United States or England. You so you can give her alcohol other alcoholic drinks or red wine. So the the rituals that are called I'm trying to think of what the language what the, in their language and I just can't think of it. If I saw the word I would know what it is. But it's called payment to the land. So we thank Pachamama for letting us live, for giving us a home, and we too will return to the earth, whether we're buried or cremated to the ashes. Either way, we return to the earth. So Pachamama is the goddess that wants you to love who you are, to love nature, and to remember that we are part of divine nature, and to not forget our connection and dependence on nature and our place in the ecosystem without clean water, fertile soils, without agriculture, we wouldn't have food to eat or water to drink. So we can, we can go out and give thanks to the earth. 
The earth is not some lifeless planet that you live on. So it's also, it's believed that when you eat the food, just remember where it came from, the earth, and to give thanks. To give thanks to the earth, to give thanks for if you're, if you're eating, if you eat meat, to give thanks for the food. To be thankful and grateful as another offering to Mother Earth. So, anyways, I think I talked enough about Pachamama. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give me a thumbs down. If you like my video, please subscribe because that's payment enough to me. I don't have a Patreon account. So, if you have some money, please give it to uh, an organization that actually helps Earth. If you want, give it to Greenpeace if you, or to, to keep the, you know, to help the Amazon rainforest. So anyways, as I said, I want to sing a little song to Shadow. It's his birthday month. Happy birthday, dear Shadow. Happy birthday, dear Shadow. Happy birthday, dear Shadow. Happy birthday to you and many more. So, let me know what you think about this video and how you feel about Pachamama. I would love to hear it on the comments. And I try my best to to pronounce the names right. I do have my thick voice here <laughs> and I try my best to pronounce things right. And say happy birthday to Shadow. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, blessed be.